Welcome back guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Innersonville, Tennessee and we got a beautiful 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback with a 390 that's built under the hood here. It's going to be a good test drive I believe. And that power brake sitting back there, she's running smooth electric fans. Beautiful color on this one, disc brakes in the front and disc brakes in the rear aftermarket set of American Racing Wheels with good tires. What a beautiful car. Hey guys, this test drive is going over the flaws so you know what you're getting. She got a four speed. She got nice interior. Go to maplemotors.com, 100 detailed pictures, financing and shipping, and hit subscribe, share this video. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Just like we do on all the test drives, we look around our interior and check everything out before we leave. Now, this one did have the 390, and of course it's built. It's a built motor with paperwork. Her shifter, new carpet. Place those bets, I haven't tried it. Does the horn work? Oh yeah, old pressure's climbing. Looks like it's going, going up high there. Good old pressure wipers. Now they took the arms off, but as you can see, the wipers do work. Gas, we'll stop and get a little bit of fuel. Engine temperature's working. All of our gauges look like they're working. What about this clock though? Come on, clock. She's not ticking. Mileage, that's what it says. Turn signals. I can see it blinking right there. This side's green. That's what I was looking for was green. That one's yellow. Floor motor. Yeah, something you got to work on. Blower motor. Middle lock. Back seat folds down flat. Super clean, like suede headliner here. They should put that in all the cars. That looks good. Okay, well, what do you think? Does the horn work? Sure don't. <laughs> all right, guys, it's time to hit the road and see how this one runs and drives. Okay. The guys here said they did put five gallons in the tank, but I kind of want to just put more. <laughs> I'm going to put another five in there. We know then it'll have 10 gallons. Now, this is the first time I've driven this, so let's see how it goes. Now, Mustangs, I've always said it, the easiest car to shift. It was the... Uh, First car I ever learned on a manual. Oh Mustang. Mama get in the shower, I jump off in the car while she's in the shower. I knew I had at least 10 minutes. And I go zoom the neighborhood. That was a wild one. <laughs> it was fun though, I'll never forget that. Had a little white six cylinder, five speed Mustang when I was 15. And I bought my own money, I worked all since I was 12, get it. Here we go. Now we got me riding around in a 68 Fastback Bullet Tribute car. Somebody tell me they noticed the plate on the front. It's from the movie. It's a tribute car, but I mean the plate matches the car in the movie. Feels pretty quick. Now the only thing is the speedometer says we're going to 50. We're not. Now it says we're going 60. Speedo's fast. Got a little bit of slack in the steering there and there. It's not bad at all. Getting in our brakes. Man, these brakes are awesome. Four wheel disc brakes here. Back in our throttle. Let's get down a little bit. You ready? <laughs> Get some fuel. 
then we're gonna light up the undercarriage. Man, these brakes are awesome. You can't hit them without going forward. Okay, I'm gonna get some gas. He said he put five gallons in it, which means the gas gauge is not working. So, we know it doesn't work, but I wanna make sure we have plenty of fuel. 93 octane, good enough. Let's do it. I mean, sick. That tag. That's what I was talking about on the way here. I forget, I did it in the walk around. <laughs> I did the walk around first this time. <clears throat> and I showed it off in there. But so you put the gas in. Nice clean cap. Look at that. Landed dead on 20 that time. Oh. She starts up good without giving her gas. Look at the gauge. Our gauge does work. Huh. I think the gauge is just off by a little bit. It did come up, so it is working. That's good news. Let's roll.
Mustang is awesome. I really like it. I, I, this keeps happening, guys. I keep, it's springtime, I wanna switch up my rides, and I'm like, how do I get stuck on all these? Okay, for a split second, when you let off the brakes, the brakes hold for another two seconds, and then they let go. You can see we're rolling. But I did notice that throughout the video. It'll stick for about two seconds. We ready to rock. Cruising, guys. Wonderful day. I could ride in this one all day long. Engine temperature's good. Oil pressure's good. She's nice. She's getting a lot of attention. in the road here pretty smooth suspension feels good on this one man that looked like Elvis Presley driving that 18-wheeler there what in the world since when does he drive 18-wheelers <laughs> oil pressure still on the high side engine temperatures dead center here Put her all the way in there. There it is. I was slowly just shifting the gears there. And I didn't snap that one back. That was 100% my error. Coming through Brian's Motorsports here. If you haven't checked them out before, check them out Brian'sMotorsports.com. He does classics and new cars. He's always working on something. So if you'd like to have a, a car fully customized, call this guy. Sometimes I'll run through here just to see what he's got outside. He's still got that Chevelle sitting out there. I'm kind of drooling over a little bit. Okay. Well, if he's going, I'm going. <laughs> kind of stuck behind him now. Let's go, sir. There's Maple Motors, guys. We're gonna pull in. I'm gonna do picking out the flaws, looking at chips, scratches, rust, and dents on this one. Um, but so far, I really, I really like it. This is a nice car. Doesn't have any visors up here, but I never really used them anyways. Got sunglasses. Pull on in. And uh, let's skip on over. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video.
Let's walk this ride looking for chips, scratches, rust, and dents. Spot there. Stuff down there. Coming down the side here. The tires are in good shape. The wheels nice, nice and clean up and over our fender wheel. Little chip there. Scratch coming down the side of the car. That should buff out. It looks like it's just on the surface. Little spike spot there, chip. Scuff here. Scuff coming down the side here too. Spot there. Front windshield looks good, nice and clean. Little chip. Back windshield's got some real light, fine scratches. Mark down in there behind the trim. Kind of got a good angle here on the trunk lid. You can see a little bubble. Walking up on the back. Down in the trunk, got a nice mat, looking really clean too. Perfection in the paint there too. Little dirt there. 
chip here. Scratch there. Light skit scratch on the door, that'll come out. As soon as that one, it should come out. A little chip here. Bubbles. Scuff in the back here too. Chip there. All right, let's go ahead and check out our interior here, and then we'll start it up. Chip there in the corner. The seat looks great on this one. Carpet's been changed out in good shape. I love that it's got receipts. It's got a built 390. Tons of receipts. Coming on down with it, dude. Nice and smooth. Good 
good. Crash. Stuff up here. Guys, thanks again for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and share. It's going to help me out quite a bit. We're putting on new cars every single Monday. Sometimes we get show cars, sometimes we get projects. We try to stay in the middle. You know, show cars are really high priced. Projects, generally low. But right there in the middle, you just hop in and drive and have a good time. Again, maplemotors.com. Financing shipping is available and 100 detailed pictures. I'll see y'all later.